Hi everyone, welcome to this edition of Fataba Video Update. I'm Steve Kaloff. Today I'm really excited to bring you the new 18MZ. I thought what we'd do in this segment is simply open the box and see what's in there. Um, show you a little bit about the transmitter, but we're not going to get into much depth at all. Don't worry, we're going to do that in a uh, segment yet to come. So, nice overwrap here, and when we get into the box, first thing you see is your instruction manual. It's um, set up in a loose leaf binder, so you just clip that into a loose leaf. Anytime we do a software update, um, anything like that, you can add new pages. Then when we get into the real heart of the matter, the 18MZ comes in a really nice single transmitter case. Of course, the Fataba aluminum transmitter case. Open this up and see what we have here. You can see it's all really nicely laid out in the case. Of course, the transmitter. Um, here we have our R7008SB receiver. Really nice receiver. Um, rag uh, for your... Uh, uh, transmitter screen, the uh, Fataba toolkit also serves as a stylus, but I'll tell you right now with this transmitter you don't need to use it as a stylus. Um, of course switch harness, next strap, and over here we have our charger. Now let's, uh, let's get into this and look a little bit closer at what the transmitter has to offer. One of the very first things you're going to see is this incredible screen as soon as it boots up here. Um, you can see it does boot up very quickly. This screen is absolutely awesome, uh, high, very high resolution, uh, the touch sensitivity is off the charts. But before we get into that, I want to I show you some of the external things that we've uh, changed on this radio. Uh, perhaps if you've been a 14MZ user, I want to show you a few things here. First thing you'll notice is that the switch spacing up here for these two shoulder switches on both sides is wider now, so you can actually rest a finger here. Um, where before they were a little tighter together, helicopter guys especially didn't like that because they couldn't get their fingers in there. On this side, we open this panel up, and here is where our battery is, and this is a 3500 milliamp hour uh, 2S LiPo in this inside of here. This is going to give you seven hours of runtime or more. We have the SD card slot, a USB slot, uh, where you can actually plug a card reader into it, you can plug a keyboard or even a mouse into it. Um, closing that up, then on the back side here we have our, our camera lens. And yes, it does have a built-in camera, our trainer port. Opening this little door up, we have three different things here. We have a headphone jack, our charge jack, and then also an SBUS servo programming jack. So you can actually plug SBUS servo straight into this. It has the software built in to program your SBUS servos. Power switches here are soft switches. You can push either one of them to turn the radio on, but it takes the push of two of the switches to, uh, to turn the radio off. A little safety feature there. Now let's look at uh, how fast this touch screen responds. I'm going to drop into the system menu, and you can almost touch anywhere on this screen and something's going to happen. We'll hit system real quick. Now the first thing you notice here, it tells me that the, the, key, the, the screen is locked. Um, so again, a safety feature that Fataba has incorporated. So if I hold down S2 uh, and S3, that will unlock the screen. Now I can drop into the system menu. You can see it's all sorts of things here. We have our camera, um, SBUS servo programmer I mentioned. We can get into that, and that's where you go in and program your SBUS servos, information, that type of thing. Touch that, get into our linkage menu. And if you're a 14MZ user, this is going to look uh, pretty, pretty similar or pretty, pretty normal to you. Um, a lot of the same stuff. And, of course, there's a lot of new features in this radio. But you can see I'm barely touching this screen, and it responds so quickly. To get into the model menu, I can touch the uh, airplane icon there. If we had a picture stored on, on this already, then uh, that would come up. But, again, all your, your features there for uh, programming your aircraft. Um, we can, the new model here, that tells me what model I'm running. If I touch that, we go right into the airplane selection menu. So, uh, very simple uh, way of doing it. Home 2 down here is a new menu. If we push that, it goes into a, a menu that gives me two very large timers and telemetry information. I can have up to three different pieces of uh, telemetry data being displayed on this screen. I can get back out of that. If we want to set up a screen to user customize, um, we can hold down our rotary key here 
And then each of these allows us to select any menu we want and set that up so that uh, you have kind of a, a user customizable screen. So a really neat feature there. Get back out of that. The other menu I want to show you is the system type menu. I can just push this here. It's also accessible from uh, uh, the model menu. But in here, we, you can see that we have all the different forms of modulation that the 18MZ has available to it. From the fastest, um, which both 18 channel and 12 channel modes, we can do fast multi, which is what the 14MZ already has, and the uh, fast seven channel mode, but also FHSS mode. So this transmitter is going to work with basically any air receiver out there that Fataba has. Over here, when we're using the r 7008 sb receiver that comes with it, you can actually link two of those receivers to this transmitter at the same time. Doing that allows you to basically split the airplane down the middle. Um, if you're running straight PWM outputs, you can have one step to run channels uh, 1 through 9 and the other one to run uh, 10 through 16. Um, and that's done with this menu here. So come back out of there, get back to our main screen. And uh, this has just been a real quick video to show you kind of what's in the box with the 18MZ, get you a little a bit of information about it. Um, remember that we will have a full-blown uh, Fataba video update coming on the transmitter itself. We've got some other things out on the websites as well. So for this edition of Fataba Video Update, I'm Steve Califf. Thanks for stopping in.